All right, um, this is how you sign up for Twitter. It's very simple. Uh, there's a couple complicated steps just because they throw stuff at you, but it's it's actually very easy. Uh, so I'm going to sign in here. I'm going to use uh, an alias. I'll just say um, Zane Taylor. I'm using an alias because I already have several Twitter accounts. Um, and it's, well, I guess I can use my real name. You should use your real name, though, um, because it's important to be honest about who you are and what you do. So I'm signing in here. decide what my password's going to be and click sign up. I encourage you to do to use a password you already use on other sites or other on your email that way you won't forget it. I use two or three different passwords for about 30 or 40 different accounts. Generally I use the same one because if people hack my accounts it's really not that big a deal because I've got nothing to hide. But um, unless you want to have to pull out your passwords every time you sign into something, then then um, you can do that. So anyway, uh, so this is verifying. It wants me to double check and make sure this is how I want to be. And I'm going to unclick keep me logged in on this computer because I'll be using my other accounts at other times. So um, that's what's going on here. All right, everybody ready to move? Okay, so I'm going to click create my account. This all looks good. Creating account. Okay, now this is where it gets a little weird. So it's going to ask you about following all these different people, but you're not going to worry about it. You're just going to click next. And you're going to ignore all these because you have a life and you don't care about following those people. Well, maybe you want to follow the news organization or something, but uh, you don't need to follow anybody. So, um, yeah. Okay, so hidden down below here it says skip to the next step. Don't search for anything yet. Don't search for anybody. Just skip to the next step. <clears throat> And it gives you more a bunch of baloney that you're not going to care about. And don't worry about because you're just using this for to help keep in touch with what's going on in class with with your uh, child or student. So we're going to skip this step as well. Even more, we're going to skip this step. We're going to ignore all that because we don't want a big mess. All right. So here's your home screen. This is where you send tweets, and this is uh, your home. And now the next thing to do is to find my class or your child. So if you're searching for my class, depending on when your student has my class will be important. So if your student is my biology in my biology class during B5, then you're going to type in at te bio B, oops, not bio, bio, B5. Do a search. And there it is, te bio B5, Adam Taylor, science teacher, Nashville. So then you'll click on that, and then you're going to follow. Okay, and you are now following the class uh, account. Now, if you wanted to send me a tweet, all you have to do is put the Twitter ID in here, my Twitter ID. That way, I'll get it directly, and it's at tabiob5. The same thing you just did a search for. So then you type in the tweet, hey. Following you now, and click tweet, and that'll I'll see it. That's the best way to guarantee that I see something that you want to send me is to is to um, tweet it to me. Because if I'm following you and and you tweet it, there's no guarantee I'll see it. But if you send it to me with my name in it, it's like a tag, like in Facebook, and then it'll show up uh, on my screen when I click my personal ID, my, my school class ID. All right. All right, so when you f send that tweet to me, 
about following me, I will reply to you and include a couple of different video links you can watch to give a little more detail how things work in Twitter. Just want to keep it super simple today to get things started. Um, anyway, thanks, and I will uh, talk to you soon.